Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. I'm trying to remember what we were kind of doing in the last episode, but I believe it was something to do. Oh, look at the snow with making this crane. Ah, yes, we were in the middle of making a crane. Oh, yes, and we were going to make some tea tables. I remember it's all flooding back to me now. We we're going to make some tea tables for Mayor Gale. So I'm probably going to need to go and just pick up all my stuff. We can actually pick up a commission today as well, which is going to be amazing. It's the first time in ages I've been able to pick up a commission. I could have picked one up yesterday, but all the commissions were kind of pants. And I think Higgins may have taken the only good one, so... Not going to let him do that today, though. Out of the way. Dude. Out, the, out my way. Okay, you go in then. Pushy man. I can sprint and you can't. Ha ha ha. Satchels, grinding saws, scarves, necklaces. Grinding saws will take. I'll stop him from taking satchels though. <laughs> I'm so mean. Right, so we need some, uh, out my way, some bloodstones. And we need some resin, I think. Always need resin. Always. That's the only reason I chop down any trees anymore, is that I always need resin. I'm really enjoying the look of my workshop now. Definitely starting to very much enjoy it. I feel like it's nicely segregated, but in a really kind of informal way. Look at the little sheepses and the little cowses. I almost feel like I need to take this one away and put another street lamp there. And then start more around here. I need to get some more marble here as well. There's all sorts of things I, I need to do, but I think the, the most important thing to do is to make these tea tables. I don't have any iron bars at all. What? Did I make any tea tables already? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine then. That's fine. That's maybe what I made, what I used my iron bars for. I think I'll need to make some more iron bars then. Let's go and see Mayor Gale then. That's the first thing we'll do. We'll see if we can get him up to being our good friend. If we can, then that's another big discount on the land expansion. I don't want to even touch that sign until... Okay, so that was plus 12 friendship. My sweet ginger is waiting for me it's not to telling dinner. me he's now my good I friend. I need to head home right after I finish the work. Not a minute's delay. But he had such a small amount left yesterday on it. I, I imagine we possibly have... Oh, really? Look at that. Like, it's probably like a point away. I wonder if we could play rock, paper, scissors or something. No. All right then, fine. He's too busy working. So the land expansion will not be today, guys. It will be tomorrow. So we'll carry on working on the crane and everything like that. I don't think I really want to be doing... Maybe we can prep for it today. We can make our grinding saws, provided we have the components for them. Which we don't, because we need iron bars. <laughs> Bloodstones. We don't even have bloodstones. Oh, good grief. Making copper bars over there. Making more carbon steel ones over here. Hmm. I'm better off taking a satchel commission at this rate. Okay, uh, how about we just stop one of these? I'm making carbon steel bars. We should have a few by now. And we'll make some iron bars instead, like 50, because we need them. And if we have none, then that's really bad. Then we're going to go and say hello to Pinky. Hi, Pinky. I never chat to Pinky anymore. What? It's not big enough place for interaction. Okay, fine. Never mind. Right, so I would say probably the next thing I want to do is to go and collect some gemstones, some bloodstones. 
Now, I'm pretty sure that the best place that I found so far, even compared to the desert, is around here. I'll definitely find enough bloodstones around here. I noticed on my map that there's a star somewhere there, up there, the theft. Oh, right, we still need to hand that in to Nora. Okay, cool. I'll quickly grab these, these rocks and then we'll go and do that immediately. Basically today is just going to be a bit of time waiting for a couple of things to happen. If I can make any money today, that would be great as well. Because how much money do we have? We've got 218,000 still. And uh, if we could get up to... Well, you know, it might be enough. It might or very close to enough. If I if I get discounts and things. And I'm friends with Alba. I'm surprised I don't get any like discount from him. Maybe I already am getting a discount from him. I just don't know about it. Let's have a look. So, social. Um, Albert, who is a friend. Oh, 10% less materials needed for homestead upgrades. Okay. Well, maybe Gust is the one that gives me the, the lowered price then. And I've not done very much with Gust at all. He's really, he's a stranger to me still. Yeah. Well, not check on Ginger when she's on a date with you. 6% <laughs> less goals required for homestead upgrades and 20% in the shop. Yeah, so you only ever get up to a 6% discount. It's not too bad. Especially considering I've done most of the upgrades already. I think if it was like earlier on in the game and I, was, I still had all that stuff ahead of me, I would make a real try for getting Anton, um, the mayor, Gust and Albert all to like me a lot. Because if they like me a lot, that means I get things for much, much cheaper. And that obviously stacks up more at the beginning of the game. Yeah, let's see. Go I've just realised that Gust is important. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. I, you know, you can get around it by just making more money. It's fine, but still. I could just outright sell gems as well. You realise, guys. Get so many gems out of these rocks around here. I love them so much. It seems to be a very mineral rich area, this one. So you're going to dig all this out and then I'm going to go up to the church and hand in my quest. And also I'm going to, I it does seem like you're getting data discs at a reasonable rate again. So I'm going to, and I've spent as many as I need to with Petra, I think, for now. So I'm there's two things left to, to get, so I think I'm going to start buying planters again. I was a little bit, being a little bit conservative about it for a while. Did I manage to get enough bloodstones for the reward yet? I'm not sure. Still, I need to make it over to the church before it shuts and it's getting on in time, so we need to go. Head over to here. I, I I always think that the tree farm is closer, but actually because of the way the landscape is, it's a lot quicker to get to the path from here. Get on my horse. I need to train Whisper as well today. I need to keep doing it as much as I can. I know I forget all the time, but I do try when I remember to train Whisper. And to feed Whisper and to pick up Whisper's poos. Uh, Whisper. Hello, Nora. How are you doing? The director said that? Wow, that's a first. Haha. <laughs> I'm just happy this whole incident is behind us. Thank you so much for your help. Arlo's back. I wonder if he knows where the Bandit Brothers took that relic. Okay, so we've got some more Zealora tree seeds. 
Fantastic. I might just plant those. I think I have some spare planters at the moment as well, so... Buy one of those as well. Why not? A little bit of extra money. Got apricots that I need to put into my helper chest as well for act. Okay, so what do I want to do now? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the apricots in the helper chest. Make sure that the animals have enough food. And then I was going to make the grinding saws if I can. Let's see what I'm missing. It might still be missing iron bars, though. Yeah, I only have seven bloodstones. I, I need to make three grinding swords, so I need nine, don't I? Oops. What am I doing? Three, yes, I need nine. I need nine resin. I'll probably make a bit of resin on these blenders. Yeah, I'll make resin over here. I'll have tree sap. And then I'll head over to maybe Amber Island. Some more rocks bashed. I mean, mind you, I could bash some up here actually as well. I think these ones do sometimes have that. So what happens if I use the drill? Oh, okay, so that doesn't work on these rocks. That's interesting. It only works in the mines. Thought I'd for science it quickly. Yeah, some more bloodstones. Got two more out of that one. That's good. So I only really need like one more and then I'm good. You get some really good stuff from bashing these rocks. I like the fact that there's a difference. That you, you mine for all the ores and stuff, but if you want some of the more... Some of the better stuff, I suppose. Ah, ten bloodstones, perfect. Just as many as I need. I'm going to need six iron bars, I think. But I think the iron bars smelt a little bit quicker. I've got four so far. So that's fine. That's fine. Copper bars are working the way as well. I definitely do want to make some more industrial furnaces. Just constantly have things working. Um, hoisters. Do we have enough stuff for a hoister? That's next thing on my list. I do. Very nice. So I've got enough stuff to finish the construction crane. Which means that we can definitely get the upgraded workbench. Lovely. So I need um, silicon. I think it's silicon chipsets. I have a lot of those, you know that. Or well, a lot of those. They're worth 126 each as well. Hmm, interesting. Got 11 topaz just from that little run there. Amazing. Let's see what other gems I have. I have seven rubies. I don't have any emeralds anymore, but I also have eight diamonds. And another eight topaz. I might just write, set straight out sell my... Well, no, actually, I can make dream lamps and stuff out of those. I'm just thinking what I can sell, basically. Got loads and loads of stainless aluminium now. In fact, I need to put all these metals away, because I've got a load of them there. We're getting much better stacks of, um, of bars in my inventory now. There was a while where I wasn't sure whether I wanted bars and it was like a bit confusing because of the new compound things. Oh, zeolite trees to plant as well. I 
hang on to it with silicon chipsets and hard aluminium wasn't it so you need to grab that too make sure i've got that on me And then I think what I need to do, it depends on whether I want to do the uh, upgrade first. Okay, I will plant the zeolite trees first. I need 250,000 basically, but I may get a bit more of a discount. I'm just planting trees wherever at the moment. I will probably um, move the planters. Like, something I can do now. Yay! Already got a little path up here and around here. And then have all the trees in there. I don't know. I might even move the house around. The house is going to upgrade again, so that's something I need to take into consideration too. <laughs> Apparently I'm going to need to move a lot of my planters out of the way and get rid of some of this stuff around the front. Possibly even move the stable when the house upgrades. But I just try and make as much room as I can around it um, and, and try try my best really. <laughs> That's all I can do. Right, so I've got the construction crane now. I've got all the stuff for upgrading the this thing. I think what I kind of want to do now is to just squidge everything up as much as possible. I've decided this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically leave it with no... Um, basically no space between them. Obviously that's something that won't stay like this. Clearly I'm not going to just like leave that. That's actually just a little furnace there I've got. I'm just gonna take these away. Yeah, if I do this, I can actually fit my machines into a very small space. And if I do that, then I will have room to mess around with other, other stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to leave it like this. This is like when you kind of move house and you have to like put everything into one little space. Okay, this massive aluminium furnace thing can go like over here or something. It doesn't fit anywhere, does it? This thing as well. Fit there. All my skivers. This is just craziness. Okay, so once I've done that, we're going to need to move this out of the way. I'll probably need to move this out of the way. I have like one random grinder over there as well, so that can go over there. Blenders I need to move. See, I can actually fit my machines into a really small space if I want to. I just normally don't. Oh, I love the potato fruit when they ripen. They're so nice. They look so good. 
That one needs to be moved when I'm in moving everything else. I don't know if I need to move my boxes. We'll we'll check that out in the morning. Um, I probably do need to go and move those little... Hopefully I'll have iron to finish off my commission today. I'm not too worried if I miss a commission for a day or something. I might go and check and make absolutely certain. Um, I'm going to just quickly move these back. So there's no double S rank commissions there that Higgins is going to take off me. Try and move everything to the edge as much as possible. Okay, I hope that that'll be enough room to make the changes I want. Because people have said it's about double the size, but not in which direction it's double the size, so it could be interesting. 801, quick, I see him going in there. I'll be able to see immediately from the board if what I want. Yep. There's a double S for bridge towers. Okay, let's quickly go into my mission and give up that one so that I can take. I know, I know, poor poorly, that one. Phew. I really hope bridge towers aren't too hard to make. But if I can make those bridge towers, that'll be enough for the upgrade I need. Right, let's go see the mayor. Give him a tea table. Oh, I don't know where he'll be. He'll be on his way down, hopefully. I don't know which way he comes to work. His house is just up here, so I, if I were him, I would come this way. They might not. They might go down that way. Here's the question, which way does Mayor Gale go to work? I'm hoping he's just in his office, yes. There he is, so would you like a gift, Mr. Mayor Gale? Of a tea table. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade the um, workbench thingy first because apparently that gives me some good advantages, and then I'm gonna leave everything how it is for a day or two until I've made those bridge heads. And when I've made the bridge heads, um, I should have enough money then to do the rest of the expansion. Right, so upgrade my assembly table, please. I have all the stuff. If I turn it, it should fit. Can I rotate it? It'll fit just there. Okay, cool. How far back into that area will it go? Yeah, and when I get this expansion, I'll have plenty of room for it, like to put it wherever I want. But at the moment, I'll just pop it there. And it'll look a bit pants for a while, but then it'll look good. We'll rearrange it and make it look good. I just didn't want... I know some people had trouble where the, the thing... The uh, ingredients didn't refund themselves when they upgraded things. So here we are, guys. Me and my automatic assembly table. A good picture of this. Yeah, I think that's a good one for this particular photo. Yeah, that's a thumbnail, isn't it? Definitely. Save that. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. So what have you got? We've got, we've got a little crane there. Wow. Automatic assembly station and assembly station. So what does the automatic assembly station do? So if I wanted, say, to make my... What was it? Bridge heads is it wanting? 
Bridge towers, right, so see I want my bridge towers. Bridge tower. And for that I need 30 carbon steel bars, tempering liquid resin, tempering liquid strengthened glass. So if I build it in the automatic one, it should take the glass, the tempering liquids, the resin, the soil, all that stuff, and just build it. So it needs... Um, Okay, so it does need me to make the hardened clay. There's 20 out of 8 that I've got of the hardened clay for some bizarre reason, but the rest I don't have. So do I have to go and make them? I definitely have the stuff to make strength and glass. Not on me, but so is it just that that'll take it out of my in out of my boxes and stuff? I'm not sure what is automatic about that. Oh, I suppose you don't have to add things to it, right? I I get you. I get you. Just takes it out of the boxes and stuff, but you do have to have all the basics. So I need to make myself some strength and glass. And then what else does it need? Steel plates or something. Ten steel plates. I uh, don't have steel plates at the moment for some reason. Are we making any at the moment? I don't think so. Wooden, bronze plates. Make 10 steel plates on there. It'll take me a day or something. And I need to keep making the carbon steel bars. This is all crazy over here. I could lay that back out again. But because I'm so, so close to getting this upgrade, I think I want to just... 187... 500. That's not too bad at all. That's a really good price. So what have I got? 168. 500. I need about 20,000 goals more. Let's see what we can do about selling things. I suppose if I get those bridge heads, that'll basically be enough, won't it? But I've got to wait for those, which sucks. So if I can sell things, then that'd be great. Let's go to my workbench and see what else I can make. Tires, seats, winding saws, winding stones, leather horns. Buckets. Okay, what can I make under here? Wall lights, 105 each times 7, so that's 700. That might be worth it. 300 wooden storages, which would sell for 15 each. Might be worth it, actually. Small chairs, hmm. metal storages, stone tables, 32 times 9. Can make five dream lamps, so we'll do that. That's great. I'm using up all my copper bars, unfortunately. Planter boxes, desks, trap boxes, sell for 50. Casual hoodies. Oh, I need yeah, I need all of that fibre cloth. Sorry. Water bucket, silk, silk things, arm stretcher, self a hundred. And I could make 
lots of them. Feather dusters, self of 20, and I can make 65 of them. That's about 1,200, just there. Yeah, go on then, craft me a bunch of feather dusters. Craft me a bunch of arm stretchers. Craft me all of those um, boxes. Which are all the boxes? How much do they sell for? Crystal and sulfate. Okay, yeah, there's other things I can make out of crystal. Um, trap boxes out of all their springs again, aren't they? No, I think I'll, I want to keep some of my springs just in case. Fluffy pendant sell for 88. Go on then. I'm hoping that the sell price is decent today or that'll be a problem. Three hundred and twelve wooden storages. Perfect. Oh, the dream lamps are like so cute. They're little llamas. They're lovely. Right, okay, let's make some money. Let's hope that the price is not like 80%. Please don't be 80%. Even if it's just 100%, I, I should be able to make something decent. Okay, Sonia. What's the price? 105. I'll, I'll cope with that. 1,400's worth of feather dusters. 3,000's worth of arm stretchers. That's it, that's all you'll buy. Okay, that's fine. So that was like 5,000 odd. Go to A and G and see what else we can offload onto those guys. Need to get a hundred, up to 187,000, so we need about 17k more. Oh, who's going to buy my llama fluffy pendants? No one, apparently. Nearly 5,000 for that, 178. So we need 11,000 more. 2,000 more for those. Another 2,000 for 1,500 for those. Hundred for that. Oh, we're still a little bit short. Iron wood doesn't even sell for very much. Wooden boards don't sell for very much, for example. Let's go and see what we can sell these fluffy pendants for, and then I'll go and have a look if there's anything else we can make at all. Oh, you know what I could do? I could sell probably half of my silicon chip sets. That would probably get me... That would probably get me there, actually. It's in case of finding someone that will buy them, though. Try poorly and uh, total tools. Okay. Poorly, what will you... What will you buy off me at Best Brother? Most of my stuff, actually. So how much would I get for selling you 20... Silicon chip sets. Two thousand, I think. So one hundred eighty-four thousand. Okay. Will you buy fluffy pendants? No. Will Carol buy fluffy pendants. She, she, she I hope she does. <laughs> She's my last chance. Why will nobody buy these? This restaurant doesn't need this. You are not a restaurant. That sucks. I've made these to sell. And they had a sale price on. Oh, look, we've got snowmen and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. I made them to sell and no one will buy them. Ah, oh, Martha will buy them. Yay! 864 for that. We only need like 2,000 more. I 
Okay, I'm gonna go and just um, check back at my house. If there's anything else I can make that'll get me a couple of thousand. We are so close. Make 74 gunpowder, apparently. It's also 50. So if I need 2,000, 10 gunpowder would be 500. 20 gunpowder, so I need 40 gunpowder. I reckon I could do it with that. 40 gunpowder. And then maybe. What's a bomb cell for? 95. I had the iron, I would do it, but I don't. A wind wheel, one wind wheel, definitely. Yeah, I reckon that sh should do it. So, I need 187,500, don't I? Yes. I am learning about my horse now. I'm learning to wait before I right click. I'm being a little too hasty and, and click happy there. Yalu's back in town. Okay, let's see what I can sell. I can't sell a pinwheel here. And I can't sell... What, what else was it I'd made? Oh yeah, gunpowder. Can't sell that here either. Let's head down the down the bottom and see if Mars will take them. He seems like the most likely. Hopefully he hasn't run out of money. No, he's got 13,000, so that's fine. So let's have a look. So please take this wind wheel off me. And then please also take this gunpowder off me. Yay, we have enough, guys. Yay, 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 yay. We might not have enough time to rearrange the workshop to my liking. Um, also, we might not have enough time to make flooring and stuff like that. But I will be just touching everything up very soon. So let's get this land upgrade done. Yes. I've been waiting for this for so long. Wow. <laughs> Look at all that extra space. Okay, we can really do something with this now. Especially if I kind of keep the house in, in relatively the same place and just have this as a massive workshop space. I think we can do an awful lot with it. I mean, things might end up shifting a little. We'll have to see. But the first thing I want to do is to get the um, assembly table off the flooring. Because it doesn't need to, I don't believe it needs to be powered. Or does it need to be powered? I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll find out if it needs to be powered. But I don't think it does. So I would like to, no, I don't want to move the house, thanks. <laughs> Let's escape from that. Uh, assembly, assembly table, thank you. Let's move you. So we don't want to be too far back. I don't know, could have it like back here, so it's by the house in the corner. Yeah, let's have it there. Then I've got loads of space to do whatever else I want with all my machines. I will put maybe a cooking area in. Um, let's see, how much money do I have left? Not Probably not a lot, no, not a lot. I need to probably keep that for now. But any money that I now get can be spent on upgrading the house and then generally just making this place 
look awesome, I guess. Just cut these last trees down because they're now in my space, my yard space. And I'm gonna really, really want to make a load more of these uh, these flooring tiles. So many more of them. I've got so much space now, I don't even know what to do with it. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, honestly. I do think that I could have like some fences and stuff and have like a proper little cooking area here. I'll make more of these um, these things. Drying racks. Make loads of drying racks. Could possibly start putting some more decorative stuff around though, like more lamp posts, more everything, I guess. Um, I think I do want to move this somewhere. I think here would be a really good place for that because it's like right in between those two lamp posts. It, it looks quite nice and it wouldn't be too in the way of everything else. At the moment it's right in the middle, it's right in the way. Things like you can go back over up here maybe. Aluminium furnaces. Maybe. Have loads of skyvers. I could have the skyvers in a row back to back with each other. That would be really cool. Just having a quick look at what everything is and where I want it really. At the moment, I think what I need to do is to get some of the cutters and things, making me some more of these conductive hardwood planks and stuff, so I can get more conductive um, flooring. That's why I'm always out of copper, though. How much conductive flooring can I make? None. Zero. Two. I'm kind of thinking I might do some stuff with like igneous brick, make igneous floor. Maybe have some patterns of it around. And then thinking maybe to have like the um, conductive, sorry, the irrigation floor going all the way through these planters and that would kind of make a border across here. And just keep conducting the irrigation all the way through. I'm not sure where I'd put the irrigation tower quite yet, but I'd work something out, I guess. I don't think the irrigation tower is too huge. I could even just have it tucked away behind the stable here and then have it coming in here. Like all the way around. That would definitely work. And I'm kind of thinking that we could maybe do like a pattern of wooden and um, igneous flooring. Might be quite nice. However, the igneous rock, how much do I actually even have of it? Let's have a little look. I'm making plans now. I'm like quite excited about how to arrange this area. Once I have more money, like 100,000 more will upgrade my house and then I don't need my money for anything else. So then I can make all my money go towards decorations. It's going to be amazing. Stone and sand is what I want. So I have 191 igneous rock. I could definitely do something with it. Like I could make little pathways out of igneous rock and then have the, like, hardwood planks and stuff. That would be actually really nice if I had this like pathway down here out of igneous rock and then I had the machines all to one side of it. Maybe had a border of igneous rock. Yeah, that would be quite cool. Okay, so cutters I think I need. To make me igneous brick. I can make a total of 38 unfortunately, so igneous rock... It, Mm, we might struggle to make as much of it as I want. 
But I think we need to go and just generally get a load of copper. I think we're going to go to the number one mines. Get copper for copper coils. I think that's going to be the end of the episode then. But I, I, I'm happy. I'm like, yes, this is... This is going well. I've managed to make enough money to do all of these things. I'm happy with that. No, I just want to go in. Please give us 200 gold. Thank yeah, sure. Okay. From now on, I'm going to be doing a lot of mining, I think, um, of, of ores in general. And a lot of relic hunting. Probably chop down some trees for resin and stuff like that as well, because I, I am always running out of resin. I never have enough. There's a couple of hundred there. as well. Make sure I grab all of it if I can. Any extra stone I get can be made into like stone stools. Which can be used to make lots of money. like it's got like health that I can I can break it down or something that's pretty awesome I don't know if that's planned to be in, in the game soon or something much copper ore we've we got now 934 that'll do us for a little bit go to the entrance please I don't want to run home and um, start making these into copper bars and also into copper. What is it? Copper bars and um, copper coils. Copper wires, sorry, not copper coils. Totally loving this workshop though. I shouldn't need to have any more copper mining happening for a little while. But I was quite impressed with how. How quickly that all happened. How quickly we managed to get like 900. Make a bunch on this little furnace here as well. I'd forgotten about it. While well, it's there, it may as well work. <laughs> all these other ones are working on other things. Iron bars and things like that. There's a spare grinder here that I can use to make some copper wires. Like my other grinder and what's it doing? Igneous brick on the cutters. The other grinder's empty. Right, Skyver's next uh, for fibre cloth because we definitely need to be starting to think about making this uh, waterproof cloth thing. Gee, are all of the furnaces going? Are any of them? One, two, three, four, five. No, we are now at a, at a place where five is not enough. That is crazy. Is there anything that I can stop? No, apparently I, I'm just going to pass out instead, so yeah. Crazy nurse, look at all those machines all working together, um, and yeah. Wow, craziness. So that I think is going to be the end of the episode for today, so next time we'll maybe try and make those bridge towers, 
And if we get 18,000s worth of commission back from that, um, I can use that to buy the extra marble planks and things I need. I can spend some time making more planters for the bits of the sort of more organic side of the garden. Well, the garden side of things, farming side of things. Um, I can expand all of that. I'll probably spend a little bit of time saving up to upgrade the house just because I want to see how it fits. I want to see, like, I want to try and get that upgrade done and see how everything fits. But okay, that's it for today and that's enough of my plans for now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche, please subscribe. I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.